breaking news right now. Downtown Sacramento, if you're just waking up, some um, activity, downtown police activity early on this morning. And we uh, have Curtis Ming on set here to tell us a little bit more about that. Good morning, uh, Tina. Good morning, Jordan. We're waking up this morning to word of a mass shooting in downtown Sacramento. It happened overnight. Uh, just as the bars were letting out right on K Street, K and 10th Street. We have a live picture here of the scene. Several blocks in downtown Sacramento are shut down uh, and they will be for a good portion of the day as law enforcement investigates. This is a ground view shot, but let me punch up right here uh, what the shot looks like from uh, our tower camera zoomed in on the area. I punched that up right here on Camp 13, and uh, you could see there are a whole lot of the markers there on the ground uh, from this shooting that happened. This is what we're hearing. We are hearing that 16 people were shot and six are dead in this mass shooting in downtown Sacramento. Let me show you uh, from a map here what we're talking about. This is the area right here. Uh, we'll start here at the Tower Bridge, and I'm going to show you uh, the area where this happened overnight in the overnight hours. This is right here along K Street, and here is the intersection where law enforcement says this shooting happened. This is uh, right here at 9th and K Street. There's a Sharif Jewelers right here, uh, and over here there is a bar. Uh, we did just hear from the police chief within the past hour about what happened, and we're going to play that for you in its entirety. About two o'clock in the morning last uh, this morning, um, our officers were in the area here at 10th and K, and they heard uh, shots being fired. They responded to um, our scene behind me and uh, located a large crowd. Um, they found that multiple people, unfortunately, had been shot, and this is a really tragic situation. So. We now have confirmed that uh, we had six people killed in the area of 10th and K. An additional uh, 10 people uh, were transported or self-transported to area hospitals. So we are asking for the public's help in helping us to identify uh, the suspects in this and provide any information that you can to help us solve this. Right now, our investigators are arriving on scene. And like I said, this is very, very preliminary, so we do not have, um, you know, a lot of details to share. But again, we're asking for the public's help. So again, we have 16 people shot and six dead in downtown Sacramento in this overnight mass shooting happening just after two in the morning as the bars were letting out. Uh, listening to scanner traffic from back then, we heard that there were several bodies on the ground. Law enforcement was in the area and they rushed to the scene. Several officers applying uh, CPR to some of those victims. Uh, the 10 people who were injured, some of them went to the hospital themselves. Others were rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. We do have team coverage with reporters uh, on both sides uh, of this crime scene right now. We begin with CBS 13, Steve Large. Steve, you're uh, close to the Citizen Hotel, right? Yeah, I'm over here on J and 10th, and this is the north side of the perimeter, a huge perimeter in downtown Sacramento, eight square blocks right now, taped off as investigators uh, begin the process of combing the the grid here looking for any evidence that they can find to help them piece together what happened here. We can go ahead and zoom in here and show you one group of investigators that have kind of centered on this intersection. That is the intersection of J and 10th right there, right outside the Citizen Hotel. And uh, we've been watching them working together and we've even seen them picking up what looks to be a gun putting it into evidence and then putting it uh, in an envelope into one of the squad cars there. We also see several crime scene investigation vans on either side of the intersection. And, and as we were walking up here, we could see some uh, folks that looked like they may have known some of the victims uh, who were obviously very emotional, uh, some now uh, five hours after the gunfire broke out. Now, to give you another reference point of where we're standing here, uh, we are just uh, north of the California State Capitol. Uh, and on the other side of this perimeter, here we have uh, the Sacramento City Hall. So this is kind of like the Civic Center area 
of Sacramento where this is all playing out. But right in the middle of there, as we all know, is that K Street corridor uh, with a lot of bars and restaurants uh, and a lot of nightlife on a Saturday night. This gunfire breaking out uh, in the 2 o'clock hour just as the bars were getting out. We'll go ahead, Sean, and spin back here and show you this scene one more time uh, as uh, we can just give you a little bit more of a sense of the feel right here as the sun has now come up uh, and there's a clearer sense from investigators at least uh, what it looks like here on the streets. Uh, but at two o'clock in the morning, just a lot of gunfire. Right now, the chief said that the downtown area is secure. It's safe. Really, this scene is set up here right now because uh, of their need to look for evidence. Uh, they do say that it's safe to come downtown, but if you come downtown, obviously there's going to be a lot of gridlock. There's no way of getting from one end of downtown to the other, uh, at least in this section uh, of the grid. Uh, and uh, right now, no information on any suspects right now, suspect or suspects. Uh, the numbers that we have right now are victims. And as you mentioned, six dead right now is the number and 10 others hurt.